Everyone who visits Eisenach wants to see Wartburg Castle. For many, it is much more than an 11th century castle. It's both a landmark and a national legend. That's mainly because this is where Martin Luther translated the New Testament while staying at the castle in 1521. A light installation pays tribute to the reformer. His work meant all literate Germans could read the Bible for the first time. Luther wasn't the first person to translate the Bible, but he did it very well. He translated it from the original Greek instead of Latin. A special Jubilee exhibition pays tribute to Luther. Over 300 exhibits show how our attitude towards him has repeatedly changed over the past 500 years. Luther, a national hero. Luther, a religious revolutionary. A man who has often sparked controversy. The Wartburg exhibition shows 500 years of German history and focuses on Luther and the German people, how the Reformation influenced German history, and how different eras view Luther. Wartburg Castle has often played a major role in German history. Its splendid halls pay testimony to that. Saint Elizabeth lived here in the 13th century. The Minstrels Hall is where a legendary medieval singing contest is said to have taken place. Here, some 500 students gathered back in 1817 to call for German unity. Wartburg Castle looks over the city of Eisenach. Martin Luther lived here as a schoolboy. You encounter the reformer wherever you go. This is the church where he preached. And this is where another famous son of Eisenach was born in 1685, composer Johann Sebastian Bach. The museum shows what Luther and Bach have in common. After World War II, Eisenach was known for its car factory. The East German Wartburg was named after the castle. The 353 was built here for over 20 years and still has a fan following. Marco Röhler is one of them. He takes good care of his Wartburg, which is now 30 years old. For me, the Wartburg represents car history in Eisenach. Strong links and a feeling of home. I grew up here with this car and this factory. Cars have been built in Eisenach for over 120 years. Now the city is home to an Opel factory. Tourists can see the collection of automobiles at a special exhibition, including the Wartburg, of course. The cars had the same name as the castle, and that linked them closely to Eisenach and its castle. The car also stood for the many different aspects of the city, which is both a cultural center and an industrial hub. That was never a contradiction. People breathed in gasoline, so to speak. Eisenach is also a great place to try some traditional local fare, like the famous dumplings, which are made of two parts raw and one part boiled potatoes. They are served with a crouton in the middle. They simmer in boiling water until they rise to the surface. Every family in the region has their own secret recipe for making the dumplings. Everyone makes them differently. Some add condensed milk, others use creme fraiche. They're served with beef roulades and red cabbage. And here in Eisenach, they're best washed down with a glass of Luther wine, with a view of the Wartburg. <laughs>